Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video review of the nightly version of Mozilla Firefox, which is called Mozilla Firefox version 9. The stable version obviously is version 6. They've now got the beta version, which is Firefox 7. The alpha version, which is called Aurora, which is Firefox 8. And the nightly version of Firefox, which is the newest one, which is Firefox 9 you can't actually open loads of decent websites with Firefox 9 because they haven't really implemented like Flash support for example because it's basically pre-alpha, it's basically only being used for testing purposes like what I'm going to show you today it's not really much point having it as your main browser because most websites probably won't load all the Java and Flash properly just because it hasn't really be Im been implemented yet so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a few of the comparisons I can make between Firefox 9 which is the nightly version and an earlier version of Firefox, maybe Firefox 7, the beta version. Um, if I just get you this graph up, which I did in Excel a few seconds ago, this is called the Sun Spider test. It loads loads of web pages and it times how fast um, it can load it. And this, you probably won't be able to see it, so I'll just show you it. Uh, the higher the score is, the worse the score. So if we compare Chrome 14, which is the beta version of Chrome, it gets just over 240 milliseconds. I haven't written milliseconds on the y-axis for some reason, but it's in milliseconds. Chrome 14 gets 241-ish, but it's kind of interesting because I said lower is the better. Firefox 7 gets below Chrome 14 and gets about 2, 227, 228. But if you go down to Firefox 8, which is the alpha build, it gets slightly less than that. It gets about 223. And the new Aurora version um, gets 218. So already, even though it's a pre-alpha build of Firefox, it already, you know, quite, quite obviously outstrips Chrome. But one thing to note: this isn't actually this white axis doesn't go to zero, so these these differences aren't as pronounced as they actually look. But it does beat Chrome 14 by you know 20 points, 25 points, and it does actually beat previous versions of Firefox, even though it's a pre-alpha build. Now, um, I think you probably know from a previous video. I can't. It's at the bottom here. This is the beta version. That's the alpha build, the Aurora build. For some reason, the icons that come up sometimes. And this is the nightly version. You can't run a nightly version and a beta or a beta and an alpha Aurora um, at the same time. So what I'll do, I'll open up nightly first. It uses the bookmarks from Firefox, you know, your current version of Firefox. I'm a bit annoyed because I downloaded AVG, the free antivirus software, a few minutes ago. And even though I explicitly said on the installation process, don't put AVG search or whatever it is as my default search. So when I type in here, you know, anything like that, it usually comes up with Google, which here. Yeah. For, even though I said explicitly no, it actually came up with the AVG version of Google, which is crap. And I couldn't actually get rid of it without uninstalling it. So I guess it's probably better for this test because there's no, that means there's no cache or anything like that in here. So I guess that's better. If we do, for example, first of all, the pretty uh, obvious one, ACID 3 test. Now it gets 97, and if I open up the beta version of Firefox, which is going to come up into the stable version, I think it's like the 26th of September, so it's basically almost a stable. So that um, the Aurora got 97 out of 100, and the stable version also gets 97 out of 100. But you see, it seemed a little bit slower, but I guess it still gets the same score. I won't do it, but um, Chrome uh, 13 and 14 both get 100 out of 100, and Internet Explorer get less than 90. I forgot the exact number. And if I open up Nightly again, if we then do a um, multiple tab browsing one, so if I open up um, quite a few different tabs, so YouTube, Eurogamer, Amazon, BBC, and eBay, let them all load up first. So, and then if we open up Chrome, this is the beta version if I just uh, quickly show you um, and then we open up the same ones so it's YouTube eBay Amazon BBC I haven't got that on there and Eurogamer now this is quite I know this is a bit different but um, a really good extension if you've got quite a few extensions I've got quite a few extensions here if you download an extension called disable all extensions plus you can like choose which ones to get rid of, um, which ones to disable, and which ones not to disable, or you can enable them all at the same time. If you click there, or disable them all at the same time, which is kind of cool actually. But skin off topic. So that's got those five tabs up. That's got those five tabs up. And if I press Control Delete and go on to Start Task Manager, if you wait for it to load a bit. 
Now it does actually look like Firefox is using like twice as much memory as Chrome, but I don't know why. But if you look down here, Chrome's got like five other um, separate ones, and if you add them up, so it's 10, 23, 38, uh, 54, roughly. <laughs> Uh, 67, oh blimey, 77, 87, 97, 95, add 76 is 171, and this is doing 106, no, oh, no, it's not, it's doing 152, so it's actually, you know, 20 megabytes less, so beats it, you know, it beats uh, Chrome 14 on the memory utilization side of things. That was a really quick performance preview, so I've just done a few little tests there. It seems to be much better than the previous versions of Firefox on the Sunspider test. It's the same a result as the previous versions of Firefox on the ACID 3 test, and it seems to get better utilization of memory than Chrome on multiple tab um, opening tests. So yeah, that's a really quick opening view of it. I'll probably do a quicker, uh, better Firefox uh, 9 versus Chrome 15 Canary review, hopefully in the next few days. So thanks for watching.